Hiya, so this is a lesson all about doing proof with trig. Now we did some last year and the only identities we had were sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is one and tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. But now we've got all these to work with. So there's loads of them, there's your double angle formulas, there's just using the compound angle formulas, what, what they call the addition formula here. Uh, you've got all your reciprocals, your cosec, your sec, your cot. And then from sine squared plus cos squared is 1. You've also got the 1 plus cot squared and the tan squared plus 1. So it, it looks a little bit messy. So let's have a look what advice we've got here. So it says, choose the most complicated sign to start with. I'd add to that, if you can make a fraction, do it. So if you've got something... So, uh, which has got a bit with a fraction. If you can combine a fraction, that's always a good one to start with. Uh, so we've got a structure. So the structure is work from one side, make it look like the other. Uh, oh, they haven't mentioned your key concepts of fractions. So they have mentioned it there, haven't they, about fractions? So, oh my word, this is actually done for us. Well, that's no good, is it? Um, oh, how can I get rid of this then? Oh, I wanted to do it for you. I guess I can talk through. Oh, that's no good. So, you've got two sides that you're looking at. If you think about tan times sine, in my head, I could split tan up as sine theta over cos theta times sine theta. So then I could have a sine squared over cos, and I could change it into a 1 minus cos squared on the top, and that would actually work, because then I could split that up into two separate fractions. So working with the right to the left would work. Uh, but um, Haley's done the left to the right, so she started off with secant, because I can use it as a fraction. So I've got my 1 over cos, for secant minus cos, and then I've combined it as a single fraction. So I've multiplied this second fraction by cos theta over cos theta. So I've got a cos squared. And then the top line becomes a sine squared, and then it's split up. So you can see the idea what I was talking about, it's just been done in reverse. There. And you've worked your way down to the other side, to what we want. So here's our right hand side, here's what we've got. Now what I tend to do as well, you've started off with one side, you've worked to the other side. So then now I need like a, a little conclusion on the end. So therefore, sec theta minus cos theta is identical to tan theta times sine theta. Now this is going to be quite awkward now if these are all done for us. Because <sighs> I wanted to give you hints for them to let you have a go at. But you can, I guess you could use the, the, use the what you see. But it's all about the choosing and trying. What I tend to do is think about it. So I think about one side and think in my head, what, what can I get to? And then I look at the other side and I think, if I try and do that, can I get to roughly the same? And if I can kind of meet in the middle, I know I'm going the right way. Now, some of these proofs, if you do them the right way, you've got like one, two, three, four, five lines. Whereas you do it wrong, it's five pages. So having a think through first before you do it is really, really important. So let's have a look. Oh, oh that's nice because she's covered them up. Right. So this second one, which is covered up, either side is going to work equally well. But in terms of a plan, you would want to expand the brackets on one side. And you always just work with one side. So you've got choices, because you'd have like a secant squared, and you'd have a cosec secant, or a secant cosec, and a cosec squared. So we've got kind of formulae that involve secant squared 
and cosec squared. Well, you could look at the right hand side, and if you expanded that, you'd have tan squared, you'd have cot squared. But once again, we've also got a formula for them. So working right to left or left to right makes no difference with this question. Because look, if you look, they've expanded it, uh, the middle term's gone, and then they've used the formulas and made it into a just the factorise. And I could have done it from the other way in exactly the same, it's like a mirror of itself. So that would be that plan to expand the brackets and to use, use the identities and then factorise. There's a difference of two squares. If you look, they're both difference of two squares, both sides. Now this one, for question three, so I'm going to definitely have a go at this one. If you look at it, tan A plus tan B, this is nothing you can use. Whereas, if I expand sine A plus B, it's going to give me something in terms of sine A, cos A, sine B, and cos B. So I would just expand the top, and then, split it as two separate flat fractions. So expand the top, then split as two fractions. What I mean by that, imagine you had x plus 3 over b, with random letters on them. I could see it as x over b plus 3 over b. So that's what I'm thinking about. It's that idea of splitting it that I mean. But on the bottom will be cos a, cos b. And then see what cancels down then. So just see what cancels. Uh, so give it a go. They're messy. They're really, really messy. But they're also algebra. So it's one of them ones where you just have to take your time and plod through it. If you look at this one, cot is just cos over sine. Oh, did I make it clear with that one? Start with the right hand side. So start with the right hand side. With four for cot, it's just cos over sine, it's not very useful. So what I could do in terms of a plan is use the double angle formula. Now if you think about what's happening on the top, you have a 2 sine theta cos theta. And you're aiming towards just cos theta over sine theta. So because I'm aiming for cos cos theta over sine theta, but I'd have a cos theta sine theta on the top, what it makes me think is I want something with sine theta on the bottom. So I've changed this one but use the sine squared part. So you want to change this one. Well, the one we've used the one with sine squared theta in it. And that should, with a little bit of algebra, should work out. So that's kind of like hints for that one. I'm not going to give you any more hints. We'll do loads of these in class. We'll have to run through them. They're, they're, they're really, really hard. Well, this is one of those ones, again, where you do a little bit, it's really, really tough, and you just keep practicing. Like, I'll show you what they've done here, look, see. So the top line is a 2 sine theta cos theta. We've said something about the cos 2 theta, how we need it to be in terms of sine. So I've changed the cos 2 theta, or I haven't here yet. The ones have cancelled, and the signs and the 2 will cancel, and I've got what I want. So do you know what? They're not that bad. They just feel bad at the start. Right, I'm going to go. I'll leave you to it. See you later. Bye-bye.